What's up guys and welcome back to the channel and happy, happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving! So this Thanksgiving, like we did last year, we'll be cooking our own turkey. Gotta have our own. Reese's. No Reese's. <laughs> gotta have our own, gotta have extras. That's right, we do this every year, we cook our own turkey. Even though we go to our family's Thanksgiving as well, we have turkey and everything over there, but we like to have our own turkey and our own dressing just for leftovers for, yeah. for a few days afterwards. So mom usually likes to have more of a dry turkey and I usually like more of a moist <laughs> turkey. And as you guys know, if you've been following along for the longest time, we created our own turkey recipe last year and it turned out really well, or at least it looked really well. Well, I think, I think it was a little too dry and obviously she liked it. So this year, the solution to settle the argument between a dry turkey and a moist turkey, we actually hired a special guest what? chef. <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully he does a better job and settles the argument for us by creating the perfect turkey. We will see. So without further ado, we'll introduce you guys to our famous chef. Here we go. <clears throat> Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Couldn't hear you either because I had my new Beats 2.0s on. <laughs> Sorry, I was listening to some sweet, sweet yams. What's up, guys? I'm Gus Fieri. We're here recording another episode of Diner Dive in the Drives at the Cheese Key House. We'll see you inside. As you guys know, I'm Gus Fieri. I'm here in the Cheese Keys kitchen. We're about to cook some turkey for Thanksgiving. I know what you're thinking. Come on, Gus. Thanksgiving's already passed. The video's already out. But don't worry. I know you screwed up your turkey, so we're going to fix it for you on Christmas here coming up, and you can use this recipe right now. First, we're going to start with Eureka Paprika. I'm going to put that in that bowl or just like that. <laughs> what? <laughs> Next, we're going to shoot in some cayenne pepper. Now it's time for some fun. Then a little bit of onion powder, a little bit of garlic powder, some salt. This ain't so kosher. Of course, your pepper. Then we're gonna mix all that together and we're gonna put it on our turkey right over here. Make sure we get it all mixed up and we're gonna do that here next. All right, guys, we got our 20 pound turkey here and he gobbled and wobbled until he landed on this platter here. Break the skin up here. We're gonna stick our hand down down there on the... Basically, we wanna separate the skin because we're gonna put some of our seasoning right inside here. All right, so we got our seasoning. We broke our skin here and we're gonna put a little bit of seasoning we're just gonna spread it on the inside of the turkey here all the way around. Here we go with the skin. Down it in there, massage it in there, get it all in the meat. All right, now that we got the bird completely covered both inside and out, we're gonna saran wrap this guy and put him in the fridge for 24 hours and then starts the baking process. So we'll see you in 24 hours. Guys, it's 24 hours later and we're gonna check the turkey that's been sitting in the fridge. I can really smell it. I can smell all those seasonings just sucking into the meat here. Oh, look at this beauty. Oh my goodness gracious. Let's get this bad bird into the oven. Gobble, 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 let's get him in the oven. Time to go to Flavortown. All right, boys and girls, it's about time for me to roll on out of here. But don't worry, you butter believe I'll be back. I'm gonna leave these guys with it. I'm gonna leave these guys in good hands. Well, guys, Gus has officially every time. <laughs> it is Thanksgiving. Today is officially Thanksgiving, and Gus has officially left the building we and. That's right, we're heading to the garden next, but Gus left us a very delicious turkey last we're night. Gonna, we get out of the full And we got a surprise for the kids over at the garden to keep them occupied. But yes, Gus left us a really delicious turkey yesterday. Right. I think it was perfect from a moisture standpoint. Yeah, that was good. It was not too dry, it was not... There was some pieces that were really moist, which I really enjoyed, but most of it was kind of in between, which I think turned out great. So as Isla was saying, we're about to head to the garden to finish up. Hi, Mom. 
our Thanksgiving tradition of going to the garden, having dinner over there with the family. Uh, but guys, let us know what your favorite meal is down in the comments, and also let us know how you prefer your turkey. What is this called? That's what I was trying to say. So Christmas is right around the corner. It is basically yeah. here. We're going to start celebrating right after Thanksgiving. We already started putting up some of our Christmas lights. So stay tuned for that because it's going to be an amazing light show with a big unveil to our to scenery. Cheer. So as always, guys, we love that you like and subscribe. We'll see you guys next week. Happy, Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. I like the Me too. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> check, 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 check it out. What, 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 what's it all about?